final of the men's 100 metres, T54. Strong field, Liu Yang and Leo Petitaki winning the heats earlier on and Sai Shun Kenjian will be a live candidate too. So starting off in lane two for Canada, gold in the 4x4 four four in 2013 in Lyon. That's Curtis Tom. Lane three for Japan, it's Tomoke Ikoma, his first major championship at the age of 25. Liu Yang for China, who won his semi-final. He goes in lane four. Lane five, the four times Paralympic champion, three times European champion, aiming to win back a world champion. He last won in 2011 for Finland, Leo Petitaki. The 400 metres Paralympic champion, four times world champion, two Paralympic golds for the Netherlands, Kenny Van Weigel. Man who previously won silver in the 4x1 in the 2006 World Championships in the United States, Eric Hightower. Silver in the 4, bronze in the 1, the 2 and the 8 in Swansea at the 2014 Europeans for Germany, Mark II. And a man who contributed a huge amount to that very successful World Championships two years ago in Doha. He won three medals there, two silver and a bronze. Saiten Konjen of Thailand. And it was two silvers and a bronze for him in Rio. Great field, T54 racing is always thrilling and exciting. Be it 5,000 metres, be it the 100. Tom in two, Akoma three, Lou four, Tati five, and Weagle six, Hightower seven, Shu eight, Conjun in nine. Leo Pecatati so fast in his heat. The final of the men's 100 metres, T54. And we will have to wait. Twice he's been a world champion, Petitati. Green card for everybody, so nothing to worry about. On your mark. Plenty of champions in this then. Tom in two, Akoma three, Liu Yang four, Tati five, and Weigel six, Hightower seven, Xu in eight, Konjen of Thailand in lane nine. The final of the men's 100 T54. <laughs> so away we go, looking for a flying start again out of lane five, and Leo Pakatart, and he's producing it. The main battles for second place. Liu Yang going well in second, Van Weigel in third, but Leo but it didn't cost him the gold, he's done it again, he's world champion for the third time, it's his seventh global gold, and Leo Pagatati, even when things go wrong, he's still the winner, 13.95, the official winning time now, he's had a little look at the wheel, something slipped definitely, but not his position from the top, he's champion again, Liu Yang and Van Weigel with the big battle then for second place, Liu Yang takes the silver, Kenny Van Weigel the bronze, Saishan Konjen in fourth place for Thailand and Hightower fifth for the United States, 13.95, it could have been faster, but Leo Pekatati, he's done it again. He's done it again, uh, Kenny Van Weigel on bronze, really happy for him, such a nice guy, amazing athlete, um, very talented and working really hard, so congratulations to the, to the top three. Well, we've had a few curious incidents in racing tonight, and certainly there was another one there with the naked eye. It certainly looked as if his hand slipped. He slowed down. He's the winner. He's the champion. And that tonight is all that counts. It's all the record books will say. There won't be a little asterisk saying, well, it could have been a little faster. Leo Petitaki is the world champion again. His third world gold. It was a brilliant start. The first 85 metres 
absolutely perfect. The real battle from here in second place. Liu Yang getting off faster than Van Weigel. They were the top three throughout. But what happened here with 15 to go? He just seemed to stop. I'm not sure if he thought that was... Yeah, I think he got the lines mixed up. Maybe, but he wins anyway, 13.95. Good time. Um, not his best. Um, probably not his best race. Um, may have gotten the lanes wrong. Um, may have just felt safe enough. Who knows? But a win is a win. Definitely is. Looking to the left of him in the picture, Kenny Van Weigel. He'd have had a little glance. Lou is certainly looking across in second place. They knew at that stage the big battle was definitely for the silver medal with Leo Pecatati well out in front on his way to his 10th championship goal. But there are two curved lines before the finish line. And then he realises he was stopping up before the last one, needed a couple more pushes just to make sure and get the win. And when you're that good, you can afford to do that and still win very comfortably. Little look at the wheel and he had a, a couple more there. Nobody had overtaken them all. Good gold for him. Bronze for Van Weigel. And away we go again. Well, Van Weigel there at the end with Lou Yang. But wouldn't that have been tragedy for Pekatati if he'd have been just a half a metre or so further back? He may well have lost that race because there was obviously a problem there. So gold for Leo Pekatati of Finland. 13.95. Liu Yang, silver for China, 14.07, and bronze for the Netherlands, Kenny Van Weigel, 14.25.